All righty, the Cisco registry or register, right? We've talked about it already. We've seen what they are. Here they are, the 2102, 2142. We saw that within the router, you can go ahead and do the config hyphen reg 0x2142 or 2102, and then on the next reboot, that will happen, all right? And you can check the configuration registry value by doing what? The show ver command, right? And we'll talk about boot system commands in a second. But one thing that I didn't show you, okay, is if you have a practical joker, because some of these routers, their, their flash is an actual flash card, especially the 2600 series routers, it's outside, okay? So somebody can just come by if they have access to your router and just beep and take the card out and then you have no iOS. And then you come in and you're like, oh my God, it'll automatically boot up to ramen. Okay, so let me show you how you would do that in ramen. All right, so let's open up the lab. All right, so as you know, we're not in ramen right now, but how do we get to ramen? Well, I'm not going to delete my flash, but I'm going to reload the router. And, well, you don't do it from there, silly. Well, control C, can I do it there? Oh, wow, awesome. I thought you had to go back and forth. Look at that. Reload and control C, make it a lot easier than going back and forth from tabs. All right, so now we're in ramen. Uh, if you can't see, let me bring it all the way up. We're in ROM monitor mode. That's what ramen means, ROM monitor mode. And let me move the router over here. Okay, and bring the PowerPoint over here. Let me bring this a little bit bigger. Too big, too big, right there. I do not want to be in your way. All right, so what do we do? Well, we're gonna do a config. What does config stand for? Configure registry or register, all right? And we're gonna go, we wanna turn it into the zero, oops, zero X 2142, uh, all right? We want it to bypass and Miran. And then we wanna reset the router. And then, it will start going through a process of loading the iOS, okay, into RAM. And then we're in setup mode. Obviously, we're going to say, no, I don't want to be there. Or I want to go to the initial configuration dialog. I don't want to do that. And then you enable. Let's do a show run. And you can see that there's nothing there. We need to start configuring from scratch. But you change the registry value right from. Uh, from ramen, right? Because it could be that one day that you come in and you're in ramen, you're like, uh oh. So you need to make sure, change the registry settings. Now, since I'm in the router and you've seen that before, I can just go here. Because if you do a douche over, you're going to see at the very bottom, it says, hey, look where you're at. You're at 2142. Okay. And you're like, oh, wow. I'm not supposed to be there. There must have been a power outage. So let's change it back. Config. Or yeah, config hyphen reg zero x twenty one oh two. Boom. Do wr reload or do reload. You guys cannot do the do command in your Cisco certification. You have to go back all the way to privilege mode. Exit exit. No control Z. Exit exit. You're in privilege mode. Copy run start. Enter enter. You'll be good to go. All right. And now where you see it's not asking me for setup mode anymore. All right, and we're gonna hit enter. Takes us into the router. Let's do an enable. Let's do a show bar. And now we see we're back at 2142, uh, 2102, 2102, okay? That's where we wanna be. But now we also talked about that we have boot system commands. We can tell the router to boot from flash, which by default it does. We can tell it to uh, go to an FTP site or we can tell it to go to the TFTP site. And what is it really looking for? Well, you can have the router look for an iOS somewhere else, or you can have the router look for a configuration file from somewhere else. And those are called boot system commands. And if you go to global configuration, and you, let's question mark it, you see boot right up there. There it is right here, boot. Okay, boot what? Boot system. And where do you want to boot from? I want to boot from a TFTP server. 
right? And then there was the image file name, blah, blah, dot bin, all right? Or it could be, well, let's just do it as a dot bin. It could be a certain config file, CFG, whatever. And then you got to give it the IP address. Let's just do 1.1.1. One, one, one. It's not going to go anywhere, obviously. 1.1.1.1. One, 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 one. Okay. And that's it. Right? So you can actually tell the router, boot system, TFTP, the name of the file, and the IP address of that particular TFTP server. You can tell it to boot from Flash. Okay, or you can whatever from word form a TFTP file name or URL. So you can have you can actually have your startup config files, multiple startup config files saved on a different server, and you can point it to that particular server. So when it's booting up, it's gonna say, Okay, I want you to go over there, get the startup config, and come back and then load it instead of loading it from NVRAM. Instead of loading it from NVRAM. You can go ahead and do that, all right? Either TFTP or FTP, or you want to boot it from Flash. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. Now, obviously, Flash does not hold your startup config, right? It holds your iOS. So if you're loading an iOS, you can actually point it uh, to different iOSs in different routers, I mean, different servers around, right? Different nodes that have that file in there, and you can have it pointing that way. You can have it pointing that way. So this is just an example of a boot system command, all right, that it will be similar for one that student told me that he had a print screen that he had something like that, that why would the router wouldn't boot or something like that, or, you know, it was stuck, I couldn't find the, boot, the TFTP server. But if I were to restart this with this, it will keep looking for one 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 blah, 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 that bin that doesn't exist, so it will never boot, okay? It will never boot. So I'm not going to save that, all right? But that's what that is. That's what that is. Very, very simple, okay? All righty. So with that said, let's go back to a PowerPoint, all right? Let's go to the slideshow from current slide because last time I did it from the beginning, okay? So now you know. Now you know the registry. You know how to check it. You know how to check it from before. You learn now that there's, there's different boot commands, and you also learned how to change the register from where? Ramen. Ramen. You can put whatever uh, hexadecimal number for your registry. You want the, how your router to act. You can go ahead and do it from right there. All right. Enough said. I think I beat a horse to death. That's, that's the same, right? Don't beat a dead horse to death. Something like that. I'll see you guys in the next.